Good morning, New York City, Chicago, Illinois. And for all you guys out in LA, God bless you. Damn early out there. Respect. Privateer FX coming at you with the Bank of England preview. Super Tuesday, as they call it. Uh, not really sure where to go with this. Uh, we'll start with the cable chart. Um, see, we've had this little sideways movement at the bottom here. Really dovish now. I think you can just bang stuff out uh, below 20, and then you're likely to see fresh lows through 134.88. Uh, the hawkish bias side, which is my preferred side, I think will cause more damage and surprise the market, begins um, through the highs. 09. I'm getting kind of close, so it may be tough to trade this. Um, but one thing I always keep in mind when I go into these news driven trades. If it's not perfect, you don't trade it. If it's too hectic, or the liquidity's not there, or the price is just too close to your entry, you can't control the risk, just skip it. As you know, there are two or three trade ideas every single day. That means there are 600 to 900 trade ideas every single year. Missing one means nothing. So... Word to the wise, be patient. What else is out there? Dollar, uh, dollar yen printed a nice, uh, nice high there, 110.02. Uh, very similar to the high beginning of the month. So this is either some sort of mega double top, or this is going to um, be a nice place to exercise longs with the break of this 110 figure area. Not sure which way it's going to go now. Stocks have done nothing. We're sort of 99, 26.99 now. Uh, we got paid this morning, dollar CAD. I hope everyone else did as well. Short dollar CAD paid nicely. We printed a low of 75. Now we're back at 90. Um, this, um, this is still sell on rally. So. Keep an eye on core shorts. Uh, the point of no return is sort of above 40 now. So you want to be selling between figure and 40, depending on your P&L and your risk tolerances, how much you uh, accrued this morning. Short dollar CAD looks, looks pretty good still. CAD yen also paid. Um, went up to 07. I think we're back. We're back now around 80, where are we? Oh no, we're back down 75.6 with this dollar yen off. Um, that's more of a crude trade. I wouldn't reconfigure that one. We'd just leave it alone. And, and w on the CAD side, we'll just be looking to sell high ones in dollar CAD between figure and 40. As far as Euro and dollar Swiss, No real strong view. I mean, the trend is obviously down. There will be stops above 119 to figure. It's, for some reason, it sort of feels like they're likely to get it done today. Uh, but we don't have any, uh, we don't have a dog in this fight. So we'll just leave it, watch it, see if anything amazing prints. We've got CPI at 2.30 uh, Swiss time, jobless claims. Also, um, will be of interest. Not usually a huge market mover. The dollar Swiss, uh, we got up to 56, which totally matches yesterday's high. So we'll screen a little. So we've got this kind of same miniature type setup, same as the dollar yen. We've got a double top up there at 56, and our neckline is 10003. Again, intuition tells me they're going to jam these O3s, which will be the same trade as Euro through the figure. 
uh, we will trade it, especially if we're getting some sort of risk off uh, wins, or if Trump says something idiotic, or we decide the world decides we're going to have to go to war. Uh, dollar Swiss will be a good one. So just keep in mind both sides: uh, one double oh three, uh, one double oh fifty six. It's obviously very overbought. But the story is also very strong, so don't be afraid to buy through the highs. Um, and if you want more of a comfortable trade, you'll be fading this 500-point uh, move back through the figure. Let's look at a few of the other sterling crosses because it is Super Tuesday. Euro sterling is just caught in the middle of nowhere. I really don't know what to do with that. Sterling yen is kind of interesting up here, uh, 149.25. A little bit jaded still from yesterday. We didn't get paid on that, even though we should have. Um, but the market's surely short sterling yen, and so this might be a source of some pain up through 129.25. Uh, the lows down here at 147.06 seem to be just a little bit too far. Uh, so kind of want to leave that alone. Sterling Swiss, for those of you who have lost your mind and want to trade Sterling Swiss on uh, Super Tuesday, 136.50 is, is not bad, but it's Sterling Swiss, so probably not the day to uh, get your feet wet in that. Quickly we'll look at stocks. We're sellers up here, or in fact we're short. Um, we're trying to we're trying a little core short here in the next percent over the next percent um, try and get your average nice the risk reward on these kind of trades are tough but usually they have a high percentage of success rate so the key being don't marry it this isn't going to collapse out of anywhere. It's just going to slowly trade in circular fashion, and you want to get a better average. So if you do end up having to cut it up at 27, 24 or something, you're not wearing you know, all 24 handles. If you see what I mean, Billie Jean. Um, that's about it, really. I mean, we got, uh, we got this sterling news now in 52 minutes. Um, Carney is going to do a little bit of a press conference, I imagine, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, so we'll give it a listen. The hawkish side is the surprise side now, so if it's hawkish surprise, hawkish surprise, you can probably hold it a little longer. If it's a dovish surprise, um, you might want to be more active on your take profit. Good luck out there, people. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye.